Are you saying, hey Joe, what happened to the how-to videos? The do-it-yourself homeowners extraordinaire on how to do things around the house. Hey, I'm still gonna do those too, but every once in a while I want to break it up to bring it to you. Okay, so you're gonna work out at home. You don't have a membership. Do you need gym shorts if you don't have any? You probably don't. I've got just some swimming suit pants on. <laughs> pants. Just a swimming suit. You know, you could use that for working out. You don't have to get anything special. You know, it's just you there getting a good little workout. It doesn't really matter what you look like. You know, you don't have to put pressure both ways as you're doing this. You can do it just one way if you want. And then just let it back and then do it again. Or do it the opposite way. Relax. type of exercise every day? Probably not, you know? You need to break it up with some weights on a few days, maybe some a jog on another day, riding a bike, just different things. You just don't want to get caught doing the same exercises all the time. You know what I mean? If I did this every day, yeah, it would help. It would greatly help. Doing nothing as opposed to this, 20 minutes a day. And if you just want a good workout, maybe that's all you want to do. But if you want to build muscle, you've got to lift some weights and do, and do different types of exercises. You just have to you got to work the muscles differently. You know what I mean? Don't always do it the same. Oh yeah, consult your doctor beforehand. I don't want anybody coming back at me. And that means you, okay? You don't want to go beyond what you feel capable of. If you've got a bad back or something, maybe this isn't the right thing for you. Maybe you just want to do your arms, you know, and not your back, not your twisting, not your knees, whatever it is. You feel uncomfortable, you stop. If you feel like you're on any sort of medications or anything like that, you know, talk to your doctor first before you just start doing anything. That goes for, that goes for anything, not just what I'm trying to tell you. You know, be safe rather than sorry, okay? Now that you've invested in a nice little rubber mat, yoga mat like this, you know, before you roll it up, you need to clean that off. It doesn't take you very long. Just spray it with, with some household cleaner and sponge it down ready for the next customer. Do you have a comment or any questions you ever want to ask me? Don't forget to send them to me because I'll get back to you. I want to help you any way Joe can. <laughs>